Hi, it's Paul from TraderFifth.com. This is my stock swing trading analysis and learn video for Thursday, the 21st of March. So let's start with a couple, uh, well, three uh, that we cancelled yesterday. So uh, they've broken the stop for the order. Now, one of them, OSK, for example, I've put back on the soft watch list. See if this wave four finds some more support and then the markets turn around and we get a bullish uh, signal. But for now, I've cancelled the order, gone to the soft watch list. FBHS just cancelled that one for now, not put it on the watch list, uh, back on the watch list. Just going to see how it goes. Remember, we have to isolate this one. So again, if a signal sets up for this and I've not done it on the video, it will go out on the Twitter service. DAR cancelled that one as well, gone quite low yesterday. We pushed really, really far down there. We've got a big, um, big candle, high volume, quite a, a close near the low. So uh, that one does not go stay on the on the soft watch list. SLM cancelled yesterday again, quite a big move down. Um, but it will go on the. I think this will go on the soft watch list because there's a lot more room for this wave four to perform, both on the 535 there and in the pullback zones my only issue is if it doesn't start to pull up soon we will get a false breakout on the bottom and then that will be null and void vsh also cancelled yesterday really at the bottom bound of this uh, of this pullback zone here on the red did reject the low so there may be a possibility but if the 535 breaks it's no good anyway we lost three trades yesterday, Zion, all these pretty recent trades, really. Uh, we lost Zion. It came down really big yesterday, really unexpected there. BBT the same, and also BSIG, all similar sort of sector moves there. Uh, again, <clears throat> let's just see how they perform. So let's have a look at the, um, we may, for example, BSIG, if it finds uh, some good support uh, we may have another look at that one pe first of the current open trades this is the short uh, we did have a bullish day i think there was an upgrade yesterday or some good news for it uh, so we got increased volume to the upside didn't take out the stop uh, but it does look quite bullish at the moment but we've done we've had this before and it's not taken out the stop so let's just just let it play out stz Good day yesterday. So that's the con second consecutive increase in volume there. Got another red candle, which means increased volume with this particular indicator suite here. Uh, we've got a slightly new low to this previous one, just after we triggered here. So looking good. We've got this uh, double top forming as a, high, as a lower uh, resistance level from the wave four. Uh, so it looks like if we get that momentum, we, we could this could push quite quite well. Uh, so, but we got the uh, red arrow for the stochastic as well for the uh, short signals. So everything's turning out pretty well for this. Just got to be a little patient. Duncan flat yesterday. We had increased volume, but we got that indecision doji there around about the uh, open price. J and J pulled back quite a bit more yesterday. And we basically closed near the open. This is getting low volume. We're not getting any um, volume, high volume to the upside here. So it may be a time to, to look to get out of this before the end of the week, if not the beginning of next week. IT did okay yesterday. Rejected those lows despite uh, the negative end to the session yesterday. This will remain reasonably positive, but with low volume. So can't read a lot into that at the moment. Grub continued the downward movement yesterday, but with lower volume. Ran out of juice a little bit. We have got some major support coming up here. Uh, so we've got to be aware that this could act as a, cat, as a, as a really strong support level to, uh, to push back up again. So we've got to be aware of this. It's happened twice in the past. So we just need to be ready to take our profits. Um, no trading stop in there at the moment. We have got a further, I mean, $50 really could be, I mean, it's a long way away, uh, but that is uh, another strong support level. If this can get momentum to push through there, 
there's a lot of fresh air underneath so uh, we're going to keep a close eye on this one but so far this is doing very well since that big move down uh, the day before yesterday glpi rejected those lows on high volume yesterday i know we closed slightly lower than the open hence the red candle there um, but the rejection on high volume is pretty encouraging uh, we, doesn't, we don't seem to want to go down despite that uh, negativity going into the close yesterday. So uh, GLPI looking reasonably strong there. MRTX. Okay, so we've come back down to test the open and, and the cloud now. Uh, we need to push back up again. Remember, it was good news that gave us those highs. Um, we've had some profit taking on low volume. We got that indecision doji yesterday on low volume now we're looking for support uh, until people until it, well institutional traders really see value in this and start to push back up again they saw value coming in from here with profit taking around here with low volume so none of these negative days have been really high volume let's see if that support level can form and we can push back up again TWO so remember, we gap down on poor news. Uh, this it seems to be consolidating at this level now. Doesn't seem to want to push down much further. So that's encouraging. Uh, I think a win on this one would be getting back to break even or a little, little bit more. Uh, Doc, big reversal yesterday from that, again, low volume profit taking. And then yesterday we had a high volume bullish day. Uh, didn't quite breach these highs here, but it was a good candle, good, pretty, you know, pretty good solid candle there. High volume. Uh, we just need some more bullish momentum through there today uh, to confirm this move. LRCX came back to close the gap yesterday. So remember, we were up 180% uh, after that big news there. Then we've had this profit taking. Uh, low volume yesterday we've closed the gap we are looking now for that support level to form um, and then go higher but uh, yeah sometimes you can kick yourself for not just taking those profits at those highs um, you know on, a, on another day you may have done that some other some, some of you traders may have already taken that saw that big move up took advantage of, I've done that in the past um, uh, in this situation, I did it. I, I, and then I've had to ride the pullback down. The gap, the gap is now closed. We're looking for that vol low volume to continue to consolidate, and then we're looking for another push up there. HPE, flat day yesterday. Absolutely nothing going off. Um, we are we keep testing this entry level at sixteen dollars. Uh, it just doesn't want to push up through at the moment. I think we really need some really good bullish markets at the moment. And at the moment, we are flat to the close of yesterday after that Fed reaction in the market. So we really do need some bullish momentum. It may be have to wait till next week for that to happen. STL suffered yesterday, actually. Uh, you know, we, we look at the big gap up there, the good move. And then we've had this low volume profit taking but really big price action there so looking quite weak going into today <clears throat> we've got a stop loss in place for a reason it, it's a sensible uh, stop loss underneath this wave four pivot level we're looking for this profit taking to run out of juice hr total indecision day yesterday but increased volume so you know we've got some more interest in this stock we just need that bullish momentum not to be rejected and uh, to push back up match had a great day yesterday with increased volume testing this previous resistance zone now so quite a critical time for this trade but the good thing is for me it tested it with high volume closed reasonably close to the high there uh, so that momentum start to pick up again after a couple of gray days there with low volume so let's see if that volume can pick up again today and have a go at pushing through this resistance zone SPLK pretty much indecision there low volume again close slightly above the open uh, indecision doji low volume but we are slightly above that um, that entry for this trade I think we just need another catalyst with this and this should put push back up on this fifth wave move workday 
not a bad day yesterday really we got the higher high higher low but rejected both the lows and the highs on low volume can't read too much into that what we do is look for the candle for the next day is it going to be a bullish candle a bearish candle or are we just going to consolidate at this level those are the sort of questions we're asking ourselves we are we are just passengers um, it's had a good go at those highs yesterday let's see if that can continue into the rest of the week text week yesterday again on low volume we're looking for a higher support level to form here deck so pretty much rejected the lows but on low volume and we have that uh, opposite side to the previous day's doji so we you know we rejected the lows the previous day rejected the highs uh, so we've just got that consil consolidation level um, consolidation level forming right now wicks triggered yesterday massive trigger this one yesterday uh, broke through 111.17 with extremely high volume and closed near the high we would expect that momentum to continue today uh, we're at 100 percent already not some people that took that profit yesterday well done uh, for me, closing near the high yesterday was very, very encouraging. We've, we're actually looking to close that gap now. Uh, we threw this pivot point with force, with momentum. Uh, you would expect um, it would continue into the rest of the week. HD triggered yesterday as well. With, a, with good volume as well. So we've been messing around in this big support level for a while, uh, support resistance level. And now yesterday we tiptoe triggered. We did come back down below the entry, but you know we retraced the, the 382, I think, uh, from the highs there. But that's not bad. Uh, we got a reasonably solid candle there, higher volume, which is important. We've not had a, a high volume bullish candle for quite a while uh, on HD. So that is very encouraging. And we are in it. Uh, okay, potentials now, the orders. Uh, we have XEC, nothing going off there right now. Order still good. Um, we're just waiting for that to venture down further. Um, again, negative markets yesterday didn't really affect this yesterday. PRGO, very similar. We are looking for that bearish move. Uh, Order still good at this moment in time. We just need that to push down, and it's just not happening at the moment. So let's just give it a little more time. TSLX order still good negative day but we rejected those lows on high volume yesterday and we're just messing around in the cloud at the moment we need a direction in the markets after the Fed SAIC this order looks pretty weak at the moment it has got earnings coming up very soon so we could uh, see that earnings as catalyst. So maybe we've had that uh, couple of high volume days coming down, uh, not really a sell off, just uh, high volume profit taking. Now we're looking for that um, higher support level to form in the cloud and to push back up again. And, and earnings may be the catalyst to get us through that entry. MCHP. Negative day yesterday, but with low volume, it's not broken the stock for the order. 535 is good, stock is still good, order still good at 87.44. TGI. Again, this looks weak now, this order, but it's not taking out the stock. Until it does so, the order is still good. Leco. Very similar sort of situation there. Uh, as long as it's 535 and everything else is good and we don't break the stop, the order is still good. But if it, if that bearish momentum, which it looks like it is building, continues to go down through the stop for the order, just cancel it. Run. Positive day yesterday. So we've got increased volume to the upside, but we're still in this range. We need to break out the range. This could be another uh, wicks type of trade where we stay range bound for quite a while then we get the catalyst uh, pushes us through that that entry amkr again another one that's quite range bound at these levels at the moment quite a cheap stock will need a catalyst to push it through and get it on that fifth wave move but the order is still good at the moment 
CW came very close to the uh, trigger yesterday. I think the high was, let me have a look. The high was 104, uh, sorry, um, 117.37, uh, 117.42 is our entry there. So we did reject those highs, but on lower volume, we closed higher than the open. Uh, so it had a go. Uh, let's see today if it can uh, go again. But at the moment, we, I think we'll need some really bullish markets for this to happen. Uh, and we haven't got those futures to back that up at the moment. Katos, positive day yesterday. So increased volume again from the previous day. Fuller candle this time. Didn't reject the highs like it did uh, on the previous day. So looking pretty good. Our order still good at 16.44. TSEM. Negative day on low volume yesterday. Again, as long as the rules are there, aren't broken, the stop for the order is not broken. Order still good at 17.36. JBL uh, in the range again, increased volume to the downside yesterday. Now, this could break the 140 today. We're at the 140 yesterday. So this could be one that we cancel tomorrow. FLR, new for today. We've had this on as a short before. Uh, it didn't trigger. I take, I took it off, but now it's setting back up again. So we've got a potential fifth wave target, $27. It's a long way down there. We've got the stop loss at 39.07 below, uh, above this wave four, sorry. And then the entry is 35.44. So below this pivot, taking the black box breakout signal uh, price there as well. So it's got some work to do, but we need it to get some work. We need it to get some momentum to the downside to get us into that short trade uh, and then CNC is next again another potential short now this is a breakout so this is a shorter term swing we have got some support at this fifth wave target zone here but we got a very very full red candle increased volume yesterday uh, and we've got the black box breakout signal the signal itself gives us a stop above the wave four at 60.83, and then the entry is 57.76. So we're going to take that order. Uh, and so we're combining, you know, a potential fifth wave move. The risk to reward into the middle of the target zone is about one to 1.1 or something like that. But to be honest, if that downward momentum really gathers some momentum in the next couple of days, you could be in and out this uh, by the close of Friday if that momentum continues and if it pushes through that fifth wave target zone which it can do this is not it's not a brick wall if it pushes through this support level here the fifth wave target zone uh, it could continue to go down so cnc on a daily time frame short term swing uh, but i think sets up very very well okay so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow